Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel for a new video. Today we are working on the Golf. I know I'm kind of switching it up. Uh, it's a Sunday video, so you expect it to be a Miata, but we are gonna be working on the Golf. And we're doing some maintenance items, that being an oil change. And with the GTI, you have your oil filter in the engine bay, and you can take now without even lifting the car up. So I've been wanting to test this out for some time now. Um, I went and got the oil change kit from FCP Euro. So this is the first time I've ordered from FCP. Apparently they do like a lifetime warranty thing, even on oil. So I'm kind of curious to see how that works. But I picked up their kit. It comes with the filter uh, oil. It also comes with an oil drain plug, which we don't need since we're not taking it out. And I picked up this oil extractor and it is, what brand is it? CTA. So um, people have used this before. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm excited to use it. So it's kind of like a little short video of seeing how all this works. If someone is curious on how to do this, you can watch this video and see how I did it, but it should be uh, pretty easy. I've already warmed up the car. You want to warm it up a little bit. I took it out for a drive and it's just kind of been cooling down a little bit. It's absolutely filthy. I drove through a, like a rainstorm the other day and after it was done, all of the nasty brine and we don't have salt here, but all the disgusting brine from the freeze uh, got all over the car and I had my window like slightly open and it got like all in the interior. I wiped some of it off, but it's absolutely disgusting. So, I mean, you can see down here in the chair, so gross, but that's what we're doing. So I'm gonna get the hood open. I'm gonna get our kit and everything set up and we're just gonna get to work. So sit back, relax, enjoy. Let's get started. What you guys just saw was a time lapse. Um, I don't know how long I've been out here, but this thing takes a while. I'm sure if you had the bigger one, it would work better, but the tube is like the tube diameter, not this part at least, but the part that goes into the engine is so tiny that it just takes so long. So I will say this tool works, but if you can shell out the extra money, uh, buy the bigger one. What I was thinking of though was if you compare doing this to a traditional oil change, 
the traditional style, you get under the car. It doesn't take as long, but it's messy. You have to replace the drain plug. You gotta lay on the ground. And I mean, that's fine, but this, I'm just hanging out outside and I don't have to get disgustingly messy. I don't have to lay on the ground. So I prefer this way, I think. Um, and it's really not that bad. It's just, it just takes a while. So while this is going, I'm gonna give you guys a parts update really quick. So I just kind of wanted to share what I have in store for the GTI in the coming weeks. This is the most recent item I got. It, so this is a ECS tuning, which is impossible to open with my hand. So this is an ECS tuning brake master cylinder stopper. They make this one as a kit for the GTI. As you guys know, my Miata has one from Touchstone Racing. This one is from ECS Tuning. And so comparing the two, I guess, so this is made you know, by a big company. The Touchstone Racing one was made in-house by a local racing group. Um, and I'd say the quality, besides the powder coating, is pretty much identical. I mean, same kind of style stopper. Um, the bracket's really nice, it's sturdy. So shout out to Touchstone Racing for making a very professional item, but this is gonna go on the GTI in the coming weeks. I also picked up the EQT grounding kit. This is the pro style, and we have a little thing over there of de-pinning tools. So we'll be de-pinning the wire harness on the coil packs, installing the nice new uh, EQT tuning grounding kit. So this will eliminate those little nuts and wires that go to the top of your coil packs. We've also got front and rear braided brake lines for the GTI. These will go on eventually. I'm trying to save up to get the, um, the rotors and the brake pads as well before I do it and just do everything at once. And I pre-ordered the new Aerofab V2 rear diffuser. So super stoked on that. I've been waiting for them to release the new street diffuser for so long now and I'm super stoked that I got in on that. And I don't know when it's gonna get here or when it's gonna be made, but hopefully soon. So that's the parts update. Let's get back to the oil change. All right, so our extractor just finished getting all the oil out and we pulled out six quarts. So we're gonna put back in six quarts of Liquamali 5W40. Uh, this is full synthetic stuff. Never used the Liquamali stuff before, but I've heard good things and a lot of people, uh, a lot of people use them. So we've got 5.28 quarts and 1.06 quarts. So six liters just about, and uh, we're gonna, Fill it all up. So let's get this hose out and then we'll start filling oil. is full of oil. Um, we got pretty much the same amount out that we put in, which is great. Um, the little extractor tool worked just fine. Didn't quite have enough room in the tank for everything. That's this tank that I got. So I had to pour some out and then fill it the rest of the way up. Just barely wasn't enough. It's like, this is exactly the same amount of oil. It's six liters. Um, it has a six liter capacity, but it's probably a little bit off because I filled it up basically all the way to the top. So, but engine oil is all in. I checked the level, it's good. So we are done with our little bit of maintenance on the GTI Golf. So thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. This was the first time I did this and it was really easy. So definitely something you could do at home. It's pretty, uh, pretty easy to do. So in our next GTI video, I think we're gonna be installing the EQT grounding kit. And then the next video after that is the brake master stopper. And then hopefully the next video after that is the Aerofab rear diffuser. So if you guys are new to the channel and you're liking the golf content, you like the Miata content, be sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, leave your comments below. I'll see you in the next one.